Hi, I'm Dara Rock, co-founder of Good Guide, here with Dr. Sheila Visvanathan, who is the chief nutritionist here at Good Guide. We're here to talk about artificial food colors today. So, Sheila, what are artificial food colors and where do we find them? So, artificial food colors are food additives used by manufacturers to make food look better. Um, usually when you process something, it kind of ends up having a dull color, and then to kind of make it look snazzy again, food manufacturers will put in artificial colors. You'll typically find them in yogurts, cereals, candy, fruit drinks, fruit snacks. And if you think about it, that's mostly products marketed towards kids or things that our kids eat. Okay, so our kids want nice, bright fruits or fruit snacks or drinks or whatever. Right. And what's the controversy? What's the issue, the health concern around these artificial food colors? So recently there have been studies coming out that sh connect consumption of artificial food colors to increased symptoms of hyperactivity among kids who have ADHD, attention deficit uh, hyperactivity disorder. So... Um, the EU and uh, the United States have been looking into these studies to see if uh, we should change the way we deal with artificial food colors. And there was a big hearing last week in D.C. on uh, how the Food Drug Administration was going to deal with these. And what was the FDA's decision? Right. So the FDA actually decided, based on the research that they evaluated, that they weren't going to do anything about... Um, the artificial food colors. They decided there wasn't enough evidence to do anything. Okay, looking at the exact same evidence, the European Union made a different decision. What did they do? Right, so the EU last year actually made it mandatory to put a warning label on all products that contain artificial food colors. And this is a drastically different approach than right. what the FDA has done. So EU puts a warning label. What happens then where we warn consumers about the presence of these? Right, so very quickly food manufacturers across the pond have decided to pull out these artificial food colors and replace them with natural food colors. And when I say natural, I mean like beet juice extract or turmeric, which can impart um, pretty colors without using um, petrochemical derived. So pretty colors. interesting. EU doesn't ban them, doesn't regulate them, but requires transparency and disclosure. And right. industry almost immediately responds by pulling out the ones that are of concern about these health issues. Right, voluntarily. Voluntarily. On the, US, on the other hand, the U.S. basically punts on the issue. Mm -hmm. FDA says, not enough scientific evidence, we're going to not do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're a consumer in the U.S., what should you be doing if you have concerns around these artificial colors? Right, so the fact that these artificial colors are unnecessary and that there are suitable alternatives means that we can actually avoid them without changing our dietary habits too much. So I would encourage consumers to buy products that don't have artificial food colors. The way you do that, read the ingredient statement. Look for a color followed by a number. That's the way the FDA labels artificial food colors. So red 3 or yellow 5, yellow 6. And you want to avoid products that contain those ingredients. Okay, so either on the back of the label, look at the ingredients, or come to goodguide.com. We also list all the ingredients and we factor in the presence of these artificial colors into our rating. Yep. So you can learn more about artificial food colors, other ingredients in your food at goodguide.com. And thanks for checking in at Beyond the Ratings.